Right, X, I'm sitting here at Spartan Fitness with Marcus Brimage. He's got his roommate going to be fighting Saturday, July the 28th for the Batwell Auditorium in Birmingham, Alabama. Josh, is uh, he's a guy from Birmingham, Alabama. Tell us a little bit about him. Okay. Uh, before we proceed any farther with this interview, I'm going to go ahead and be the bigger man, and I'm going to forgive you, okay? Because here in Alabama, we don't like Georgia Bulldogs in the house of Nick Saban, Okay. <laughs> Like we don't, I don't know why he's wearing this shirt, and we up here, and this is Bama country, dog. Nick Saban is the president here, and you wearing that. Okay. Well, I knew I knew Adam Singer would be here today, so that's I just wore it in support of him. Okay. Well, he he committed the act of treason and blasphemy too. So, <laughs> we're we're going we're going to just skip that. I'm just woosa now. Back to the now back to the question at hand. Uh, first of all, my roommate. Joshua the Truth Robinson is going to uh, do a spectacular job in the heavyweight division. He's the black belt in Shotokan. He got nasty jiu-jitsu, uh, nasty boxing, and you're going to see, like, very exciting fireworks coming from Joshua Robinson. He's my roommate. We both moved out here from Alabama to join the American Top Team. And just go ahead and just get ready to see the best fight of that card. Josh is going to be fighting Brian M. Avery. He's a guy from Rodriguez MMA uh, that we don't know a lot. Of, but both of those guys are kind of up-and-coming guys. Tell us what the, maybe the move from uh, that you guys are just talking about moving to Coconut Creek. What has the move like been there and training with the guys at that camp? Um, training the guys at uh, Coconut Creek is uh, pretty cool because um, you just get a more dynamic uh, group of guys there. I mean – like from around here, you really don't have like different styles. Like in the Coconut Creek, you got this guy, he's a black belt in judo. You got this guy, he's a black belt in taekwondo. You got this guy, he's a good boxer. You got good Muay Thai. And then we all like, you know, just come together and then we could like feed off each other's skills. Like, hey man, that was a good wrestling trick. Can you show me how you do that? Yo, hey man, that spinning back kit. Hey dog, can you show me that? You know, we all just pick off each other's styles, and we all could just put them into us. So it's pretty cool when you get that type of, you know what I'm saying, just that dynamic, just atmosphere, and then you get to pick and choose from different people's styles and utilize it yourself. And Marcus is on the ultimate fighter for the last season. Uh, he just picked up a big win over in Atlanta, UFC 145. Now, uh, we're here at Spartan Fitness today. So tell us maybe, I know Chris Conley, he kind of had a, he played a big part in getting you started in the MMA. And then you got Tommy Elliott. He's moved to uh, Coconut Creek. What, what kind of impact has those guys had on your career? Oh, man, without, uh, without being guys like uh, Tommy Elliott and um, Chris Conley and Joy Manberg, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Uh, I met them when I was 19. And I've been down with them ever since. So uh, I'd like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, uh, Tommy Elliott, Chris Conley, and Joy Manberger. Thank you all so much for molding me into the person I am today. Mm. Now, uh, he's got a big fight coming up, UFC in September. What do you know about the guy that you're going to be fighting? Tell us a little bit about that before we go. Uh, his name is uh, Jimmy Hedis. Uh, he's a brown belt in uh, judo, and he's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. And so today we brought in a black belt Olympian judo player. We call him Judo George. And, you know, he showed me some anti-judo so I won't get flipped, be like uh, six feet in the air. So that won't happen to me. So thank you, Judo George, for coming in and uh, showing me uh, some anti-judo. And y'all just go ahead, go ahead, pop the champagne for September 22nd because I'm going to go ahead and win that thing. Now, one one other thing was is uh, we were here today at Spartan Fitness. Had uh, Master Child had a seminar here today, and I know he's played a big part in your career too. So tell us about him. Uh, Master Child was uh, one of the ones that uh, welcomed us with open arms as soon as we got to ATT, and uh, you know he was just like, "Yeah, y'all my students, y'all my students." So yo, yo, wherever Master Child go, that's why that's why I go. And then you know because of a uh, connection I have with uh, Chris Conley, uh, we was able to bring Master Child here to, so he could get. That, you know, that real Muay Thai knowledge bringing here to uh, Alabama because, you know, ain't nobody doing it like Spartan Fitness. You know, we up here, we bringing in like crazy black belts like Chris Howder. We bringing in elite Muay Thai specialists like Master Chai. So ain't nobody doing it like Spartan Fitness, baby. So just want to give, just want to give us, just want to give back for what all Spartan Fitness had done for me. Once again, I'm standing here with Marcus Bremens. His, uh, Josh Robertson is going to be fighting Saturday, July the 28th, about while I tour in Birmingham, Alabama. He's going to be representing Spartan Fitness, an American top team out of Coconut Creek. Uh, be sure to check out Marcus Bremens. You got Twitter? Uh, yes. Uh, holla at me at Brim205. Uh, if you play Xbox and feel like getting beat up in Halo, holla at me again at Brim205.
The, uh, and he's a big Georgia Bulldog fan. We'll see you guys next Saturday. Roll tight. You got to say roll tight. <laughs> roll tight. <laughs> July 28th, next Saturday here, Batwell Auditorium, Birmingham, Alabama. See you there.